I wanted to ask you, uh, you know, as a last topic about the LGBTQ, RS, TUV, W, X, Y, and Z agenda. Um, the agenda? That sounds yeah, so nefarious. It is agenda. It is agenda. When you start, you know, trying to get policies placed into school um, that allows teachers to um, call your child by a different gender. And as a parent, they're not required to tell you. They could be calling your little boy Samantha all day at school and they don't have to tell you. That's an agenda, right? When you start trying to systemize it um, and, you know, to make it uh, systemized, uh, systemic it becomes an agenda. And when you see how vicious that lobby has become, particularly the trans, I've said like, you had me at the LGB, lost me at the T. Um, why, 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 why the T? The T, because that's when you started telling people they were bigots because they don't want to play the crazy game. So here's my point. Um, I think trans is a, a mental disorder. I think there's tons, you know, gender dysphoria is a mental disorder. There's tons of mental disorders out there. There are people that walk around down the street and think they are Superman. You know, think they can, they have powers and they can fly and they're Batman. And I would never want to see that person attacked, you know. Um, I grew up in uh, a family where one of my uncles had severe mental disorders and thought he was an, like Indian from a tribe or something, you know, uh, kind of got it because he was in solitary confinement for too long and he actually went crazy in prison. Um, so mm. I've always been sensitive to people that have you know, mental disorders. Um, but, but when you start saying a society that you now have to pretend that Candace's uncle is an Indian, and if you don't, you know, acknowledge him as Pocahontas, then you're a bigot, you're, that's, that's wrong. Now you're putting the pressure on me <laughs> to not just be, you know, accepting of this, but now to play the crazy game and to say, if you mispronounce and you don't call him Chief Pocahontas, then you're a bigot. Yeah. I don't play that game. I'm like, I'm going to live in reality. You cannot live in reality. You can say how you feel. You can say what you think you see. You can pretend, say that you think that, you know, we're on Mars right now, but I'm not going to pretend that I see Mars because it makes you more comfortable. So I, I would, obviously I disagree. Um, the, and, and what's interesting is there are people, you say you're, you're with the L and the G and the B. Um, there are people who, you know, 30 years ago would have made the exact same arguments against you for the L, the G, the G and the B. They would have said that there's scientific data, that there's, that these are people who are, who are, who are, who have mental disorders. There's some misalignment between what they desire and what they're supposed to, that there's some kind of gender uh, uh, thing going on that they're confused about. Um, and, 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 you know, I think that we have to do a few things. For me, I think the easy part, and this is the part I think you and I agree on, is that we have to accept and we should accept people um, as they present themselves in the world, right? Like if someone says my pronouns are, if I told you my pronouns were she, um, her, you would address me as she and her, right? No, I wouldn't. Really? No, I would oh, call you Mark. Okay, okay but, you wouldn't, you Mark. but you wouldn't call me he. No, because no, I, I, I mean, I would call you Mark, um, you know, if that was something that made you comfortable. But um, if I saw you- And if I said my name was Jane, would you then call me Jane? If that was your legal name, yes. But you'd only call me by my legal name. Yeah, I call you by your legal name. I don't have an issue with that. But I'm not gonna pretend. I'm not gonna change what you know these established pronouns for male and female because you say you know I'm Mark and here I am. So, so what, what do you? So so I really want to ask. I'm this is, I'm genuinely curious about this. But first, let me just say I, I think that one this isn't a case of someone thinking there's something that they're not. What people are saying is that there is a misalignment between my sex and my gender. But disorder. This this. this no, no, that, that's the point. No, my no, mind and my and my body don't match. That's a disorder. That doesn't make it a disorder. It just means that the world may be more diverse than we've previously understood it to be, whether we see it in, in plants, whether we see it in animals. There's all kinds of complexity. And we look in, in history. I mean, even we go back to the continent of Africa, we look, look in Asia. There's all kinds of, of examples of people who have uh, complicated gender performances and complicated understandings of gender and how we perform gender can be different. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess for, my question for you would be, why... If someone identifies as, particularly in a, you know, someone who who you you engage with, say it's a colleague at work or whomever, a family member, or whomever, if they say, "Look, I prefer to be called she and her, and I, I no longer want to be identified by this name," why not? Why not just honor that? If you changed your name, I will honor it. But 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 why not? I mean, I'm sure you call people by nicknames, dog. I'm sure there's, you grew up, you grew up in, you grew up in a black neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. people, I know you you know somebody named Peanut, right? Yeah. You're right. You don't say, well, that's not your legal name. I'm, the, I'm your mama named you Joe. I'm gonna call no, you Joe. I, no. I, no, I'm saying if a name is one thing, but if you're asking me to change pronouns, I'm not gonna do that because these are established pronouns. You're asking me to now change the English language, right? We know why we call female she her girl woman. Okay, these are these are words that have meanings. These are words that have meanings. So this is a book. 
right? right. So could it? Could you call this? Uh, this is a book, and uh, this is a mug. Could you call this a book and call this a mug? Yes, you could do that if you want to change it. But words have meanings, right? So now if I switch it and you say, well, this mug wants to be called a book, it's a mug. It's just a mug. This is this is the word we've established for mugs. This is the word we've established for books. So you're asking me to change the actual meaning of words to accommodate you. I'm not going to do that. No, now, if, that's I'm not, not going to do though. that. It is the, because not only is it a request, you can now get in trouble no, in certain states I'm that's not for misgendering mean. someone. The, the request of the trans community is not that I'm actually a man, uh, but I want you to pretend I'm a woman. The, the, the argument of the trans community, which I agree with, is no, I am a woman. And so I want you to revert but, to me. But they're, you're, they're not, you're not a woman. So that's, mm -hmm. that's the problem. So this is what I say is now you're, you've asked me to, to take on your mental disorder, right? So I am okay with the fact, the, the argument from my uncle who thought he was, he thinks he's a, you know, Native American from a certain tribe is that this is what he thinks. He thinks, but he's not. Okay, so I, I'm not then to say to me that that argument is valid because he thinks it. No, just because you think something doesn't make it real. Okay, but that's exactly what gender is. Gender is, is exactly about an experience and a performance and a social construct. It's not a social construct. Stop saying a social construct. To say that words don't have meaning and they're socially constructed means nothing. And I'll tell you why. Well, they, are, they are. But you say that, but then you'll let me this, get. This wasn't always a book. Okay, this, so this then, could be called mug. So it then just our, not you know to what be. it is? Our entire discussion about black America meant nothing. There's no such thing as racial injustice. You see what I did there? Because black is a social construct. Yeah, but we live in a social reality. So within that social so reality- you can't be both, Mark. So you either sure think that be. the gender wage gap is BS, that feminism is wrong, and that racial disparities are all BS because everything's a social construct. You're either going to go full postmodernist and say nothing is real and it's all made up, or you're going to acknowledge that there are some hard, concrete truths. If there are hard, concrete truths, you and I are black, okay? That's not going to change because- we wake up and we decide, you know what, today I'm white and it's just how I feel, and today I'm Chinese. No, 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 you and I are black, okay? We are acknowledged as black people, we're seen down as black people. Mm. I am a woman, you are a man, okay? Now, if I wanna wake up tomorrow and say I'm a man, you wanna say you're a woman and we wanna play the crazy game, we can do that. To then say all of society now is to pretend that it was all a social, no, it was a social contract. You were born a male, I was born a female. Yes, that's a sex. We are black. Okay, it's a color though. Black is a, it's a word that we use so, to say a sex. Female is a word that we use that has a meaning. Yes, it means you are you are born with a vagina. You can have children. You have a uterus. When you are a male, you are born with a penis. You can you can get, you get a woman pregnant. These words have real meanings. We cannot suddenly get into society where there are no truths. So so to acknowledge a social construct does not mean that we ignore biology, and it doesn't um, it doesn't mean that we don't have. Can men get pregnant? Uh, depends. I know, I know. What does it I, depend on? I know trans men that can get pregnant. That, that means it's a woman. Only one sex can well, that, get that's pregnant. That's a circular argument. That's it's not a circular the argument. Yeah. It's proving my thing. There is a truth, a concrete truth. You have to be born with a uterus to have a baby. Only women can get pregnant. The fact that we've arrived in a society right. that's the part I'm disagreeing with. That's the part I'm disagreeing with. There's nothing with. to disagree with. It. These are facts. So you can say that this person who is pregnant identifies as a man. That person was born a woman. I can tell you that every single time because only women can have sex because there are concrete truths about life. Have babies. That it, that can, can, I mean, can have uh, babies, pardon. And that that is a hard truth about life. You cannot make that go away because you want to call a man, somebody who has a beard and dresses like a dude a woman. Only if it's pregnant, I'll, I can tell you exactly what it is. It's a woman. So, so I, I, I'll give you, let's go back to the social construct thing because then it'll answer the thing you just said. I'm not ignoring what you just said. I want to tie it together. So the, the idea of, my point was that a social construct doesn't ignore physical realities, right? Um, social, the social construct is about how we as a society make sense of those physical realities, right? So for example, um, you said we're black, sure, right? Um, I'm trying to think of, a, 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 you pick a light-skinned black person, right? They're black, right? We'd agree on that. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the PR, let's go to Puerto Rico. Let's go to Jordan. Let's go to Iraq. Let's go to Sudan. Let's go to Ghana, right? And each of the, and let's go to South Africa. I'm, I'm picking these places very specifically because they have different racial logics and racial paradigms. And what it means to be black here, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a universal blackness, right? That, that, that if in, in Dominican, there might be five different other racial categories, right? And there, there are some light skinned black folk here who, when they go to Ghana, get ready, get basically seen as white, right? Because of how we socially construct it. Doesn't mean my biology changed. Doesn't mean my physical reality changed, but how society engages this stuff is what makes it a social construct. So similarly, uh, when it comes to, so I'm not ignoring the realities of race. So, so with race and racism in America, and then I'm gonna take it back to the gender thing. When it comes to race and racism in America, it's yes, biologically we're all the same, right? Black people, white people, there's an infinitesimal difference between a black person and a white person in terms of our genetics, right? This is this superficial stuff. But I, that doesn't, that, that's a biological reality, right? It's a biological fact, right? 
um, just like as biologically true as me being born with a penis, right? Um, but the truth is, but the, but the idea that there's social meanings attached to that blackness that make people fear me or that make people think that the, this per, that person's life is worth more because they're white or whatever, those are social meanings that are arbitrary Correct. and different. So, so to, to acknowledge social constructs doesn't mean you ignore biological realities. But you just did that when you said that men could give birth. So, so similarly, what I'm saying is, is that I'm not denying the biological reality of maleness, of, of the genitalia we're assigned at birth and what we can do with those body parts. I'm not denying that. That's a biological reality. Again, the social meaning I'm attaching to it is what I'm saying is more complicated. It's a, but it's not complicated. Can men give birth? Sometimes. That's my answer. Yes. And the answer, that is that is crazy. And this is, we, we cannot, it's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. We cannot allow this to happen. But you there, wouldn't say the definition of being a truths. woman is the ability to give birth. And I'm not saying, but only women can give birth is a factually true statement. Only women can give birth. There, there's only one type of human being only that can give birth. Only people with uteruses and vaginas yes, and can stuff give can birth. give birth. Only women can give birth. You, I'm not, men dis I'm not disagreeing with that. Birth. I'm not, and that, here's what, I think we're talking past each other. What I'm saying is, I'm not disputing the fact that certain body parts yield certain kinds of possibilities, right? What I'm disagreeing with is the idea that that is the measure of whether or not you're a man or a woman in, in, in society. Okay, but it has now come to a point where if you say that only women can give birth, you are called a bigot. That is crazy. That's nuts. So if you say, like J.K. Rowling did when she got canceled by the Harry Potter cast, that only women can menstruate, okay? Can men get their period? Can you, can, can you help my audience? Can men get their period? Some can. Okay. Yeah, trans men. Some, there are some trans men who can. Um, and again, I, I think it's okay to ask interesting questions. I think it's okay to have intellectual debates. But I, I don't think that we ever want to enter a space where we deny the, the, re, the humanity. And I'm not saying you are, but to deny the humanity or the experiences of other people. I'm, like I said, I was totally okay with trans until it became a demand. You're, what you are denying is my ability to be an intelligent human being, right? You're denying, you're denying my ability to talk about science and biology in a meaningful way. You are now making your existence is actually infringing on mine. Okay. How so? And because when you make it a requirement now that I have to pretend that men can give birth and men can menstruate and there needs to be tampons as the ACLU is fighting for and males be and male restrooms, and that if I don't see the reason, the importance of that, then I'm a bigot. I'm someone that's no, no, no. I accept you if you want to run around and you want to wear a dress and you want to call yourself Tiffany and you want to put but a you won't pillow. Call and Tiffany. You, you, if, if you want, I, I, I don't need to know your name. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything to me. If you want to call? I'm not going to sit here and say I don't believe your name is Tiffany. You know, if a person comes up to me and they're in a dress and a, and a skirt and they say my name's Tiffany. Okay, cool, Tiffany, cool, right. right? But when it becomes Candace is a bigot because she won't acknowledge that you know Tiffany, it, it, Tiffany the man got her period and, and can have a baby. I'm not playing that game. We, I am. I will so never. So tomorrow, back I'll come down. on your show tomorrow, and I, I have decided uh, that, or a year from now, uh, suddenly I have I, I, I have reimagined my identity, and I have I have I have recognized and affirmed my identity as as a trans woman, and I no longer want to identify. Uh, as Mark, I want to identify as, use your example, as Tiffany. Mm -hmm. You you wouldn't be like, this book says Mark, you're Mark. You'd, you'd call me Tiffany. I'd call you Tiffany, but I'm not going to call you she and her because that has real meaning. And I'm not going to play the What's game. What's compromised by that is what, what I'm trying to understand. What my, my, my reality. You're now saying you've transformed your reality and now I have to pretend that words have no meanings. And they do have meanings, right? So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to call you here. Hi, Tiff. How you doing, Tiff? Did you have a good day, Tiff? Great, Tiff. I'm not going to then say she, she. I'm not doing that. And if people cannot, if, you, if people, the demand. But you won't misgender me either. What? I'll just call you Tiffany. But And if they say, where Tiffany and go? I, I you're not going to be like, he just left. You'll say, she just left. I'll probably slip up, a, you know, once or twice. But I'm not talking about Tiffany mistakes, but I'm left. saying you wouldn't intentionally misgender me. No, I wouldn't intentionally misgender you, but I don't want, I don't want Tiffany in my bathroom. I don't want Tiffany but in my spaces. But you also don't spaces. want tampons in the other bathroom. Right? That's what I don't get. No, I don't care. I don't care. It's, I think it's stupid. I think it's foolish. I think it's dumb. But if you, if that's really where guys want to go, do it. I don't care. It's not my business. It doesn't impact me. I don't have to go in the bathroom. But I don't want Tiffany in my bathroom. And you okay? Are you okay with gender neutral bathrooms? That's how most bathrooms are. They just, that's all, they go on the plane, they're all gender neutral. No, I got you, but yeah. I'm saying- Bathroom, I'm about, bathroom, I'm, fine, But cool. I'm saying designating a specific one like in public spaces, like, like restaurants. Yeah, or, I hate that they say gender neutral because usually they just say bathroom. Like you don't, you don't need to say gender neutral, it just says bathroom, and we all understood that. That just seems to be an extra step of virtue signaling to say gender neutral. You just put bathroom, everyone knows what that means. means no, but like, a lot of times in places, like for example, in our university, uh, we have male bathrooms, we have female bathrooms, yeah. and then we have gender neutral bathrooms. You can just put bathroom. Everyone knows what it means. You put WC, everyone knows what it means. It means anybody can go here. That's always been that way since the beginning of time. And then suddenly the trans lobby wanted to say gender neutral. And suddenly we had to put gender neutral. That's so I fascinating because like, I find it actually be the right, in this case, and I'm not. Planes. Do they say gender neutral or I'm, just I'm with the you. bathroom? I'm with you. I mean, grandmom's house. Yeah. Thanksgiving, right? I mean, no one called it gender. I, I'm with you. Yeah. But I often find that it's the, it, it's, it's the, it's the anti-trans community. 
that's like, oh my God, a gender neutral bathroom. bathroom. Because it's, it's the God it's, made bathroom for man, bathroom for woman. No, I'm like, what are you talking no, about? No, they've always been just bathrooms, usually at small places, just bathrooms. It's fine. But like, it's the, I can't stand the, you know, preamble to the Constitution. Any person can go here. We don't care whether you had to shut up. I think, that, I think that's a good thing. I think it's just annoying. It's just the constant virtue signaling. Shut, shut up. But it's, about, it's about affirming people's identity. Don't, you and don't need your uh, identity affirmed on a bathroom sign. If you need you that, you do. If you've been denied access, to, it just says bathroom. That's privilege. That, just, just, it's not privilege. That's cisgender privilege. It oh really is. Oh my god! It is. Stop with these made-up terms. Cisgender privilege. It's just a bathroom. All words are made up. I mean, it's, 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 just, it's just it's a, a bathroom. necessary word. It's just, like, and no. This but is what like, I'm saying is, if you've been Again, if you've been constantly denied access to something, affirming that you can come here matters because there. I mean, there's a long history of trans people. Just write bathroom. Right, and I'm saying, just write bathroom historically has still excluded people who are who are who are visibly gender nonconforming. They have when they are, I, you, if you go throughout history, you know how many people are kicked out of restaurants and not even allowed to sit in the restaurant, much less use, use the bathroom because they, their gender doesn't seem to line up with what we society's expectations. And so, saying you can come here too is a sign of saying we welcome you. It's just like saying, it's just like when you see like um. An ally, an ally sign, or 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 a um, or, or or a rainbow flag on a restaurant. It, it's not saying that anyone who doesn't have one means gay people can't come in. But the point is, because places have been so hostile, affirming that you can come nothing in. Nothing annoys me more than that crap. I mean, I, I tell you, nothing annoys annoys me more than seeing that crap everywhere all the time. It's just, you know, you, you gotta have the Black Lives Matter flag, the LGBT flag, the, the this sign, this sign. It's like, dude. Since when are people not allowed to just buy furniture? I don't need you to have eighteen different signs. Like I just want to walk into the furniture store. It's not, not because everything, people aren't welcome. Not every, would you be okay if there were American flag? Now, would you, you be mad at an American now, flag? Can hanging you help up? me? When were gay people in America not allowed to buy furniture? You're gonna have to help me out with that. It's not specific to furniture, but gay people. No, I'm, I'm a, saying like it's I'm, every store now. It's every store. They right, have to put a flag. There is a historical narrative. When of, were gay people not allowed to go 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 the, into McDonald's? As lo, as long as there have been McDonald's. And public, and this isn't specific to McDonald's. I'm saying that in terms of public accommodations, people who are, who identify as gender nonconforming, mm -hmm. we, we can talk about we can talk about gay, lesbian, bisexual. But I'm talking specifically right now about trans folk. Um, yes, they're often denied access to public spaces like restaurants, like furniture stores, like like hospitals, etc. And part of the reason, and, and again, there's plenty of that on this, is that when they're in public space, they're often criminalized. They're often seen as sex workers. They're often seen as doing something illicit, even if they're just walking down the street. So when you, the reason you see an overrepresentation of trans women, for example, uh, being being stopped and, and searched and frisked or, or apprehended or questioned, even when they've done nothing or presumed to be doing sex work just because they're on a corner. Like literally, they could be crossing the street, uh, is because there's an expectation of who and what they are—a social construct. And so, yes, to, to say, look, you can come here. We want you here. We won't be judged here. This is a safe haven here. Is entirely reasonable. If I had a university, to use your 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 your, your argument earlier, um, and I want to, I, I think it's okay for a university on, on the website to say, hey, we we value diversity of opinion. We want conservatives too, right? Now you might say, well. Why do I need to say that? Conservatives are, should be allowed anywhere. But you would say conservatives are, are universities are hostile spaces to, to conservatives. So if I wanted to signal to conservatives that they were welcome here too, I would have to go above and beyond to say that because they're not, they're typically not. And so I would, by your argument, and so I'm saying similarly, if a place is denying access historically, a country to, to queer folk or to trans folk, then I'm saying, yeah, we got to do something extra to mm, say that. Maybe we should come up with a flag for conservative people. I, like I think that. it's red, white, and blue. It has like 50, 50 stars. Oh, just America. <laughs> That's it. We'll take it. Everyone start putting American flags so we know that it's safe or maybe, for no, yeah, maybe it's the Confederate one. Maybe it's the Confederate one. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, whatever. Um, I will wrap this by saying I think this was a very important discussion. Yeah, and this is I, fun. Yeah, I, I think it's there needs to be more of this. We don't have to agree, um, but we cannot be scared to have the conversation. People benefit from seeing different perspectives in the black community. We are not all a monolith. I disagree with Mark on virtually everything he has said here. Um, but you don't I will know defend. What that does to me and my fans. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will defend his right to say it um, to the death of me. I think it, we we need more diversity of thought and more diversity of opinion. And I deeply respect you for coming onto the show and saying what you believe Thank on you for and sticking me, by sis. your guns. Thank you for